Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? I'm Kat and I'm going to do your love reading for September 2024. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't fit, that's okay. You can check out your other placements in your chart, of course, to get feather messages or just, yeah, to just do it. All right, so let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius in love spirit for September 2024? What do we have for September 2024 for Sagittarius? Okay, Sagittarius, I'm getting the, the full energy. I'm getting, um, starting at zero. I'm taking a leap of faith, right? The full. Taking a leap of faith. Some of you guys could be dealing with a, a Scorpio. I got that for Scorpio as well. I'm getting to trust in, in the divine that you are making the right decision. Um, I'm also getting this feeling of feeling alone feeling like no one has your back and you're not supported, things like that. Um, Spirit is saying, don't forget about them, okay? Because you are supported and they are always around you, okay? So you can call out to them in times of need, help, whatever, you know, um, just ask them and they will they will help you for sure. So, um so that's what I'm getting. So, so I feel like you're questioning whether or not you should take a leap of faith. If you should put yourself out there, if you um, should go ahead with this relationship, if you, whatever the case may be, I'm just getting, um, you're questioning that. And um, but I feel like in the month of September, you are going to to decide. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So let's see. Yeah, and just remember that. Um, Just remember, you're not alone, okay? And um, that the divine will meet you halfway always, okay? All right, so what do we have for Sagittarius and love, September 2024? What do we have for Sagittarius, September, September 2024? What do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, so we have surrender wanted to come out and magnetic attraction. Okay, wow. So yeah, like surrender here. Like they're, you're questioning something though. For sure, yeah, mask. Maybe you don't trust this person. We're dealing with someone that doesn't trust you, so you can always reverse the rules, but maybe you feel like someone has a hidden motive here. You know, that someone isn't telling you the full truth or truths. But there is a lot of attraction here. So, yeah, again, I'm getting the full energy. So, it's like release and let go. Spirit is saying release and let go of any expectations, of any fear, right? Because, look, look, she doesn't look like she has really much fear in Sagittarius. <laughs> I mean, you know. There's nothing under her to catch her if she was to fall. Kind of like the fool, right? So it's pretty safe for you to surrender. Um, it says letting go, release, give up in patience. So you have a magnetic attraction to someone. And I feel like spirit is telling you to surrender. But you also feel like there's hidden motives here. Um, like maybe perhaps someone's lying to you. They're wearing a mask, right? So let's see. What else do we have for Sagittarius and love? What else do we have for Sagittarius? So expectation, a mature man. So you could be the mature man. You could be dealing with the mature man. Expectation. So maybe you feel like someone's expecting something from you. It's like you're awaiting something, Sagittarius. What are you waiting for? To know if this person's truly wearing a mask, to know if this person's lying. You want to know what this person's motive is? 
I mean, you find this person alluring and irresistible. This is probably someone that you've been flirting with or whatever, and you just want to know, like, hey, how does this person truly feel? Or maybe this person doesn't truly know how you feel. But I think you want to start something new with this individual. I think you want to take this leap of faith. Maybe you just don't trust it at this time, or you won't be trusting it in the month of September. So let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius in life? Tell me what what is it? What is the surrender? What is Sagittarius? What do they need to surrender, or what are they surrendering? What is this for Sagittarius? What's surrender? Mm -hmm. A decision. So a decision here needs to be made. Um, needs to be talked about too. I feel like someone here is making a head over heart decision when it comes to this um, relationship here. Now, for whatever reason, this has been a burden for you, Sagittarius, but you need to make this decision or you're awaiting this decision from someone else. But there is communication here in regards to taking a leap of faith here, surrendering, letting go, releasing. Maybe you have to release something to have something here. Yeah, the Hermit. This is something that you gave a lot of thought to, Virgo Energy. We also have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Tower, Scorpio, Aries Energy. So there's a shake up here. There's a shake up here. Let's see. Let's get more. What's this magnetic attraction? Okay, yeah. Some of you are dealing with someone that needs to let someone else go or something, person, place, or thing. Or this is you, Sagittarius, in order to obtain this um, relationship here that you have with someone that the attraction is undeniable. So I feel like in the month of September, you are finding yourself having to wear a mask. Or the person that you're dealing with is having to, to wear a mask because maybe there is someone else involved. And they need to walk away from it. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what is this magnetic attraction? So it's like almost like surrender and walk away. So you can have a new so you can have a new start. Surrender and walk away. <clears throat> So you can have this new start. There's something here that needs to be released, that needs to be let go of. What is this magnetic attraction? Six of Pentacles. So this is someone that equally feels just as attracted to you as you do to them. Yes, they are super attractive and they're super attracted to you. Um, you are super attracted to them. And you want this equal give and take with this person. There is lovey feelings, yeah, but there is a conflict here. And, you know, some of you guys could be married in a, in a toxic relationship already. Okay? Yeah, you could be, um, we have the king and queen of swords here. So, um, to me, that's a couple, a divorced couple. Or you could be going through a divorce. But this is a couple that is on the outs, right? But I feel like there is this attraction here with someone else that is undeniable. And you want this equal give and take with this person. Um, yeah, the Sagittarius, I feel like you're someone that's been through a lot. But there is communication. I do feel like your guard is up when it comes to the situation, though. Um... There is communication, some kind of truth coming in. It's going to be rather abrupt, right, and kind of out of the blue. This is something that you've been manifesting, though, Gemini energy. Um, let's see, what's this mask, though? What's this mask? King of Pentacles, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So someone you're dealing with, male or female, it doesn't matter. They're back and forth. You know, there could be definitely be some juggling here. Um, wow, though. There's a marriage here. There's a marriage here. There's a lot of people involved in this. 
Sagittarius. There's a lot of people. Then there's judgment, Libra energy. Something is going to be made fair, though, and there is going to be a coming together. Wow, with the Empress. Um, but you are definitely in your head in the month of September. Like, juggling a lot, keeping up with a lot, but there's also just... I feel like there's someone here, whether it's you, Sagittarius, or someone else, or someone here that is already committed. They're already married. They're in a, and they're already in a commitment here, but you're finding yourself wanting to be with someone else. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. So therefore, you're wearing a mask. You're keeping it, you know, um, hush, hush even lying to the person that you're with, or like I said, this is someone else that you're dealing with, but you know this is going on. Um, but you really want to surrender, and you really want to be with this person because there's just this undeniable attraction and uh, lust with this person. Yeah, someone here is definitely in, in a long-term commitment already. If they're not married, they're already in a long-term commitment. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with, Sagittarius, or if this is you, you're in something that you're not happy in. And this is something that you need to surrender to and that you need to walk away from. And you take it however, but I, this is how I'm reading the cards, so no shade. Um, but you're not happy in this connection. And this is something that you need to decide to walk away from. Spirit is saying, you know, uh, take that leap of faith. And some of you are going to have to start over. Or you know this, right? If you were to surrender to letting one person go, you're going to be starting over with, with the next, right? And um, this could be very difficult for you to decide in the month of... Um, September, this is going to be, yeah, really difficult for you to, to decide. But I do feel like you want to be fair in this situation, and that's why it's such a hard decision to make, because you want to be fair um, for all. And um, so I feel like that's where you're at, Sagittarius, in the month of September. And I hope I've explained it. I mean, I've tried to explain it the best way I can. I do feel like you're someone that has been through a lot, and your guard is up. Um, especially when it comes to this situation of um, whatever situation you're in. I feel like you're on the, um, I feel, I just feel like there is something here that you need to walk away from, that you need to surrender um, and, and ask for help from the divine. And just know that you're not alone. And um, when you ask for help from the divine, you will get it. But just be sure that you, you definitely want their help, okay? So, um, that's what I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. If you've liked it or what have you, you can like, share, and subscribe. If not, that's okay. I'll see you next time. Bye.